Hi everyone. Welcome to the new Affinity by Canva. This tutorial will help you get started with the basics of inking, coloring, and show you how the tools work in a simple, beginner-friendly way, even if you've never tried this program before. Affinity by Canva combines all three apps, Designer, Photo, and Publisher, into one. There's Canva AI, Retouching, Typography Studio? For the studio stuff you're not using, just turn it off. I'm not gonna go into the details of each studio right now, we'll just focus on Vector Studio and Pixel Studio for now and learn step by step. Okay, there are plenty of videos about the interface on YouTube, but mine's gonna start with how to tweak the interface to fit your own workflow for drawing. Let's get started. On the right side, the placement of different panels. Click drag them out, dock them back in any time. Example you can even move all of these over to the left side, similar to Clip Studio Paint. The default settings start on the right, but we can move them to the left. Just click and hold the panel, drag it to the left edge until you see the blue highlight, then release, now the panel will stick on the left. Add drag in, remove drag out. Things you should always have, color, layers, stroke, and brush. Whether you're coming from Adobe Illustrator, Clip Studio Paint, or any other program, the goal is just make your workflow faster and easier. If you can't find the panels you need, go to Window Menu General, you'll find them all there. In the Window Menu Panels, there are commands like Reset, Add Preset, and Manage, just play around with them too. Next, check out the toolbar on the left. The monochrome tool icons, it's similar to other design programs. Click the three dots to customize their positions. Add more, remove some, or rearrange them up or down. Add a tool, drag in, to remove, drag it out. Affinity already has an interface with tools are pretty easy to use, vector work runs smoothly. You can bring tools from vector and pixel into each studio. If you use them often, just add them, that's it. You can set how many columns to show here, make it same illustrator. There aren't as many tools as illustrator, but still gets the job done. Okay. For my tools menu, I've also added some pixel tools, like the pixel brush eraser, basically, whatever you use the most. Since you can work with vector and pixel at the same time, I place some pixel tools right in my vector studio to speed things up a bit, and that's totally fine. Anything you use often, just add it. Next, the menu bar and context toolbar at the top changes depending on which tool you're using. Right-click to edit, move, or remove icons. I'd suggest adding transform, arrange, insertion, boolean operations, and so on. These are really helpful because they let you work faster instead of going through the drop-down menu every time. Okay, how do you know what's necessary? In part 2, we'll start drawing character cartoons. Then you'll see the workflow, the steps, and which tools you use most then you'll figure out what to put where yourself. This video is just a guide to show you how to easily customize the interface for now. Okay, this setup works great for a drawing workflow. Has everything you need for a comfortable drawing experience. Setup isn't any different from the old version, so beginners can take full advantage of this. I think that pretty much covers everything about the interface in Affinity by Canva. Check out some YouTube videos too, it'll help you understand things even better. In the next video, we'll start drawing and inking, so don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell so you won't miss part 2. Thanks for watching.